Hasil res Moto 2 Mandalika 2022 Pembalap Songkiat Chandra menang dan naik podium Sedangkan pembalap Pertamina Mandalika SAG Racing Team Rai Poin Ben Schneider memulai balapan dengan buruk Start dari posisi 5 Dia langsung tersalip oleh banyak pembalap di belakangnya Dan turun 10 peringkat ke posisi 15 Sementara itu, Jack Dixon yang mendapat pole position berada di tempat ketiga pada awal balapan. Dia disusul oleh pembalap asal Thailand, Songkiat Chandra yang langsung mengambil alih posisi depan disusul Aaron Kanet di urutan kedua. We spoke to Sam Lowe's in the airport in Jakarta, and this is his approach to the season. Score points in it. He wasn't able to remount and get back on his bike, which is, I feel devastated for the lad. Uh, having started from pole, he was fastest after the first day. We weren't talking about that he crashed out a couple of laps ago now, out of second place. Meanwhile, Somkia Chantra keeps doing the business at the front. The number 35 for Honda Team Asia. There's only a Team Asia squad with Ayagura in there. We do rate the team, we rate the, the how the bikes are set up, and I think they've got two quality riders, so nice to see this performance. It's been a brilliant race so far from Aaron Kanet in second place. Vietti is the fastest rider on track. Uh, you can see the white flag with the red cross being waved, but as it stands, they're still racing. Brain gun, you'd know about it because it's probably going to be a flood. Here comes Vietti, he's going to take to the inside. That's brave, isn't it, Michael? He's gone on the really dirty part of the track and he's going to hold it in on the inside. Sayangnya, nasib sial menimpa Dixon saat balapan baru berjalan tiga putaran. Dia terjatuh di tikungan sepuluh dan langsung meluncur keluar lintasan. Alhasil, posisi tiga direbut Calestino Vietti yang sebelumnya terus membuntutinya. There's only the one official test back in Portimao, but some of the private tests, they're all together. And he steadily got about his business. No headline times here and there, but was just churning out the laps. This this was on the cards if you look deep enough. About pre-season and it's paying off now. So Sam obviously decided he doesn't have the pace to fight with him today. And uh, yeah, that's, that's clever. What a response from Chantra. Seeing his gap dropped, he just ups. So uh, this race not run yet, but I think, I don't know, I think in these kinds of conditions would a fourth be okay for sam i don't think he'd be uh, i think the new sam if there isn't to do it just take that edge off whether it's the injury the the tendonitis that's caused him to approach the season in that manner but yeah that's what we need to do and a word on aaron can it michael uh, again we talk about people who originally and then progressed into the world championship you always knew there was something there just that he needed to find the right home maybe it is the experienced ponds team for him Yeah, we always down in sixth place. Okay, it's not a disaster. It's not the end uh, of the world, but I, I expect there's a bit of a touch of disappointment there. 
Yeah, the middle of the front row, he was the one who got the jump to get things working. So yeah, Augusto, a little bit of work to do in that area of his um, race craft right now. Sam Lowe's is now 2.2 seconds. He doesn't quite have someone to follow like he didn't win a here in, uh, in Motor. Saat balapan tersisa 9 lap, pertarungan sengit terjadi antara Kanet dan Vietti untuk memperebutkan posisi 2. Setelah sempat beberapa kali salib menyalip, akhirnya Vietti berhasil merebutnya dari Kanet di tikungan 6. I will remind you track temperatures in the high 40s uh, at Mandalika. Yeah, it's superb stuff. I, I, I hope that um, the rain clouds don't come in anymore and we get to, to run out these last few laps without any red flags or rain interruptions, but yeah, control of the Honda Team Asia bikes. There he is on the gold livery, number 79. He's in behind Aldeguer and really motoring. Impressive stuff, obviously. He struggled a bit yesterday, didn't make it through that Q1 session. Languishing some performances last year in Austria where he was oh so close and he has been almost the team leader, but they'll, he'll be happy for him. But deep down, it's, <laughs> he'll have felt it was his that he should have got there first. A 36-0, can it a 35.9. Chantra now just needs to manage this to the line. Has he got the tyre he needs? We're getting into that sit territory. Yeah, he's lost six tenths of a second from his previous lap. Not a lot in terms of over the second place man, it's only three tenths, but yeah, it is it is a worry, but he's got enough of a cushion. Link with the Moto3 world champion, Pedro Acosta for ninth spot at the front. The gap has come down again to 2.7 seconds. Sedangkan Chantra terus melaju sendirian di posisi depan. Dia berjarak 2,259 detik dari Vietti yang terus berusaha memangkas jarak dengannya. Yama and his Honda Team Asia squad with first and sixth in this we've never been able to say that before. Balapan Moto2 Mandalika 2022 digelar di sirkuit Mandalika, Lombok, Nusa Tenggara Barat pada Minggu tanggal 20 Maret tahun 2022. Duel sengit tersaji dalam balapan perdana di kelas Moto2 yang digelar di sirkuit Mandalika itu. And hopefully he can just this year really happy inside that Aspar garage and uh, no doubt he'll bounce back. And maybe there was frustration in the fact Chantra was leading and pulling away and pushing on and, and that, I'm not saying ruffled, uh, was having kids in the top left corner <laughs> of your screen. Oh, I had a moment of panic oh. there for Somkiat Chantra, 23 years of age. He's about to take his first victory in Moto2 with spots of rain still on our camera lenses. He goes into turn 16 for the final time. He can cruise Southeast Asia in Indonesia. What a day for Somkiat Chantra. He wins from Celestino Vietti. Back-to-back -back podiums for the Italian. And Aaron Canipolino pipped Pedro Acosta to eight with Alba Terenas rounding out the top 10, Roberts, Bobier, Navarro, Alcoba, and Bope. Mendominasi jalannya balapan sejak awal, pembalap asal Thailand yang membela Idemitsu Honda Asia Team, Somkiat Chantra, sukses keluar sebagai pemenang. Lalu, dua podium lainnya ditempati Kelestino Vietti dan Aaron Kanet. Oh, I had a moment of panic there for Somkiat Chantra, 23 years of age. Kemudian, posisi lima besar dilengkapi oleh Sam Lowes dan Augusto Fernandez. He goes into turn 16 for the final time. He can cruise Southeast Asia in Indonesia. What a day for Somkiat Chantra. These passionate and partisan Indonesian fans, I'm sure there are some people who made the trip from Thailand and they'll be jubilant and delighted. Congratulations to our historic Moto2 winner here in Mandalika. Somkiat Chantra with Simon. Somkiat, that was a beautiful ride. From the first corners to the last lap, you were fast. How do you feel? Yo, I feel so happy. I also don't don't believe. Like, uh, oh, I feel one in the last lap. I feel it, the checker pack in the front. I super, oh, oh. I in the first position. Also, my first time here in Moto2, I finished on the first. And yeah, I really happy. I want to say thank you to my friend, my family. And uh, I want to thank you my sponsor, Thai, Thai Honda and also Kalabau. And also thank you for the team, uh, SCI Demisu Honda Team Asia. Selamat kepada pemenang. So Luar biasa.